Welcome to Comfort Africa number two. We are going to do a Black History Month Marvel superhero because it is Black History, and we are going to do Rage. But before we do that, I need to Google him because I don't remember his first name. I do know who he is. I know he was a um, Avenger, but I need to um, get his first name. Let's see what Google can do. Marvel superhero Avenger named Rage. Rage was really big Alvin in the Daryl Halliday. According to Wikipedia, Rage, Elvin Daryl Halliday, sometimes misspelled Holiday, first name sometimes given as Eldon, is a fictional character appearing in American comic books published by Marvel Comics. Okay. So for those who have no idea what Rage looks like, this is probably what he looks like now. But when I was younger, let's see if they, they don't have that click on images real quick when I was younger he looked like that in my teens and 20s he looked like that and now we're gonna go to Wikipedia cuz and then he eventually looked like that when he became a new warrior yeah now we're gonna go to Wikipedia to see if my memory corresponds or if I'm a victim of the Mandela effect cuz when I was a kid he was 13 and I can't really say I was a kid but I was like in my teens and 20s fictional character Marvel Comics Avenger 326 human new warriors Avengers Python abilities street skill fighting superhuman strength speed stamina durability and resistance to injury the ability to leap great distances all right Victor biography origin yeah he was 13 so that's still there um Evan Darrell Holiday was born in Brooklyn, New York, age 13. He was exposed to toxic waste after hiding from bullies that attacked him for being their neighborhood, for being in their neighborhood. By returning to his grandmother's home, Ellen nursed back to Elvin was nursed back to health. The chemicals caused Elvin's teenage body to grow into an adulthood as a matter of weeks, but it also endowed him with superhuman strength, speed, stamina, Encouraged by his grandmother, he used his newfound abilities for good of an adopted a costume named Rage. Alright, so now that you got that out of the way, Evan was one of my favorite superheroes. Now, at the time in the 90s, when um, he didn't wear that, <laughs> when he was wearing this, you know, he was an Avenger. And when he was an Avenger, he, um, Somehow he was friends with, um, I want to say it was Speedball. Because they needed a Quinjet. And for somehow, you know, even though Dwayne Taylor has money, his new Warriors didn't have a jet. And he had a private plane, but it wasn't going to be what they needed. So he um, somehow got Speedball to somehow talk Rage into letting them get the Quinjet. And so Rage went with the new event with the new Avengers. He went with the new warriors to this island where Silhouette's mom was um, trying to take over the world. And so while she was trying to take over the world, they all went to go and stop that. Rage played a critical part in that. But then when he got back home, explained to the Avengers what happened and why he let the new warriors take the Quinjet, um, Hercules beat him up and then kicked him out of the Avengers. And not too long before that, Rage's grandmother passed. Or after, according to this comic. I don't know if that's his grandmother in his arms there. But um, somehow or another, she passed. And so Dwayne Taylor, a.k.a. Night Thrasher, the OG Night Thrasher, the best Night Thrasher that ever was, that it should have never got rid of. That guy right there. They, um... They uh, let him adopt Rage. And so Rage became his ward. I don't know if Rage ever actually finished school because of his adult body. I think he might have been homeschooled after that when he became an Avenger. But um, I just wanted to do Rage because he's a very interesting character. There's another character almost exactly like that. The story is damn near um, right to it. So I think it's either Bedrock or Maul. Um, we're going to see both. Wildcat's Maul. That's not how you spell his name, stupid. 
M A G L. Mall. Mall. Alright, Wildcats Mall. Why are y'all not giving me the images of him like as a superhero? Alright, so this is Maul. If you're a Jim Lee Wildcats fan, this is Maul. I don't think Maul is a black kid. I'm pretty sure Maul is a white dude. But he's also like mixed alien. So, let me see. I don't want Wildstorm. I want Maul. Okay, so Maul, his name is Jeremy Stone. I guess I wanted Jeremy Stone. He's human and um, he has type of Troid ancestry, which means he's like the same kind of alien that Zealot is, the people that they fought against. Maul's superhero. Um, oh, come on, damn it. Uh, yeah, it's not. This is why it's not even Wikipedia. It's like fandom, and they don't give you everything on fandom. On um, wall, Maul. God damn it, go away. Maul transformed. Transformation from Jeremy to Maul and back quickly, taking only the matter of seconds occurring even when he's injured. Jeremy is also transformed into... Why in the hell is this here? Jeremy's bullets. He does not need concrete to slay as Maul. And he is never revert if he's knocked out. So if he's knocked out as Maul, he stays as Maul. Alright, super durability... It's not giving me his age, so it must be Bedrock from, um, fucking Youngblood. Let's find out. Bedrock from Youngblood. According to Wikipedia, Youngblood. Image superhero team, Youngblood, the hero named Bedrock. These pictures should match. Okay, let's go to images first. Alright. So, here's Bad Rock. You know, it's like, I must be one of the newer versions. You now. See if we can get this Wikipedia now. See, honestly, I didn't know if the comic still existed. But... Young Bloods is like one of my first image comics that I read. And um mostly because I'm a Rob Liefeld fan. It's what he wanted his X Force to be. Before the whole Marvel cluster fuck. Come on, give me the Wikipedia. But Young Bloods is a really good book. I don't know why it's still giving me all these images. I like not hit the back button. Here we go. Wikipedia, Bad Rock. Bad Rock is a superhero fictional game in Image Comics. Rob Liefeld, the original name was Bad Rock. B E D R O C. They changed it to Bad Rock first appearance in Young Bloods 1. April 1992. Good times, man. Good times. He was affiliation with Bridge and Young Blood, Superhuman Strife, Reflexes, and Durability. Why the name change? Upon Youngblood's debut, his name was originally Bedrock, and the catchphrase was Yabba Dabba Doo. Then legal professions came a lot, forcing Liefeld to change his name to Bedrock to avoid confusion with the Flintstones town, as a parody during the television series Spawn. Alright, so now let's go into the fictional biography. Thomas Joan McCall is the average unachieving 16 year old yeah so he was a little younger than um well, he's a little older than rage but he was 16 year old when he swallowed a viral on top when he swallowed a vial on top of top secret genetic material in his father's lab a transformation occurred and McCall's body became as massive as organic rock similar to gra graphite granite granite excuse me he still however Exhibited the emotional immaturity of a 16 year old. Thomas later assumed the identity of Bad Rock after he was recruited to join the high profile government super team Young Bloods. Bad Rock has been a part of the team's inc very incarnation from Young Bloods date, team date 92, 95, 2008. The series was 
World teamed up as Young Bloods in Side Files. Bad Rock's pro prolific number of weapons. He's proficient, excuse me, with a number of weapons, including many guns, knives available in Young Blood Arsenal. And Young Blood, for for the for the record, was a thing. Now I don't know if Bad Rock's ethnicity is ever met or mentioned because for the most part. He stayed bedrock the whole time. You know, in the comics I read. I don't know if he's ever reverted back to himself. In national security, such as Youngblood recruiting what seemed to be the Vice President Dan Quayle from Wildcats, Bedrock was one of the main many solo adventures and something confronting Spawn, etc., etc. And um, Murder Bedrock was part of a vital effort to keep reality from duplicating itself, shattering the image, and Riptide found murdered, is found murdered. Riptide was a cool dude too. Bad Rock is part of the group in the custody seeking, custody of her seeking killer, Night Saber. Anyway, I gotta catch up on Image, because I didn't know Image was still, like, in existence. Because, you know, most, like, comic people, does Image... Image Comics still independent. The creators not employed of Image. They are independent and speak for themselves. Image Comics staff comprise of accounting, marketing, production, and sales department. If it wasn't for Image, I wouldn't know who the fuck um, Savage Dragon was. The Image Comics R.I.P. to D.C. While Image Comics releases its early series of books, it is clear that the creators are borrowing heavily from Marvel and D.C., they also ball ideas actually extremely gorgeous, generous. Basically rips off of the best, the biggest. You know, that's some bullshit. Their ideas was actually their ideas first, but Marvel wasn't paying them for them, which is what spawned an Image. All right? Let's clear that up. Because Image is, was like some good shit. You know? All right. I'm going to have to read this shit on my own time. But um, I will say it's listed some of the comics that I read down here. Spawn, Savage Dragon, I didn't read Witchblade, I didn't read Bone, I didn't read The Walking Dead, I didn't read Invincible, I didn't read Saga, I didn't read Jupiter Legacy, I didn't read Kick-Ass, and I didn't read, um, Redolent Black. Now, where's the characters that I did read, besides Savage Dragon? Still not showing people that I read. I didn't read Wildstorm, I read Stormwatch, but I didn't read Wildstorm. No. Accolades. Okay, screw this shit. Like I said, I'm going to have to read this shit on my time. Because this video has gone way beyond Black History Month for superheroes. Anyway, the bottom line is that, you know, um, there was a black character in Savage Dragon, the police chief, captain, whatever. He was a badass, too. But um, the cartoon, I like the cartoon more than I like the books. But the cartoon only got like one season, I think. That being said, happy Black History Month. Long live the new warrior slash X Avenger Rage. And I don't think it was fair that Hercules beat him up and threw him out of the fucking Avengers. That fucking sucked. Anyway, that being said, I do not know what happened to him after Dwayne Taylor was unalived because of Marvel. But I don't even know if the New Warrior comics even still exist. I haven't read a comic since twenty ten. So also in a side note, everything that I mentioned in comics for this video is more than likely been retconned. So um don't take it all that seriously, except for the fact that Rage was a 13-year-old black kid <gasps> who became a maelstrom, or, or a monolithic kind of hero, <clears throat> excuse me, because he was so huge from um, the shit that he went through. That being said, I am Echo Fang Ray Wolf. This is Kung Fu Avenue Number 2. I'm hitting the shower, B, C, and